The Letter by Wilfred Owen. We're going to learn about irony and different forms of irony. We're going to learn about different forms of language spoken and written. And we're going to learn about poetic form and rhyming couplets. And learn about poems with different voices. Uh, letters Home. Very interesting sort of history to this. Um, the British Tommy, the soldier from um, who was in the First World War, one of the first sets of soldiers actually to write home properly. They had written home during the Crimea War. They were educated, these working class people, in a way that hadn't been before. Owen wasn't from a working class background, he's from a more middle class background that had fallen on hard times, but he knew working class people very well. Um, in a way that many of the upper class poets, such as Sassoon and Robert Graves, didn't really. Um, the letter. Read it through before you listen to what I've got to say about it. Don't trust everything you say. Come up with your own thoughts. Letters home. Very important thing for soldiers to do. We've got a soldier there writing amidst all the broken rubble. Home. Another one here. They were encouraged to write home, but letters were censored, so you couldn't write the truth, and soldiers knew that. They, the last thing they were allowed to do is tell the real situation. Here we've got another censored letter there. And then, with BEF, June 10. Dear wife, oh, blast this pencil. Here, Bill, lend us a knife. I'm in the pink at present, dear. I think war will end this year. We don't see much of them square-edded uns. We're out of harm's way. Not bad, Fed. I'm longing it for a taste of your old buns. Say, Jimmy, spares us a bite of bread. There doesn't seem to be much to say just now. You what? Then don't, you ruddy cow, and give me back my cigarette. I will soon be home. You mustn't fret. My feet's improving, as I told you of. We're out in rest now, never fear. Rack crumbs! That was near. Mother might spare you half a sob. Kiss Nell and Bert when me and you... Hey! What the hell? Stand to, stand to. Jims gives us hand with the pack on, lad. God, Christ, I'm here. Take hold. I bad. Damn your riding. Here. Write me, old cold Jim. There's a deal. Um, The poem is about a soldier who's writing from a hospital. And he's been hurt. My feet's improving, we learn, um, as I told you of. Um, so he's been hurt. And he's writing the letter to his wife. And then we have in brackets what the real situation is. And we kind of guess from that um, what's going on. Blast his pencil. Here, Bill, lend us a knife. He's got to sharpen the pencil with a knife. I'm in the pink at the present. I'm feeling healthy at the present, dear. Um, we know this isn't really true either. I think the war will end this year. Um, again, that's heavily ironic because we get a sense the war's going to go on for much longer. We don't see much of them square-headed Huns. We don't see much of those stupid Huns or German people. We're out of harm's way. Not bad fed. They're in the hospital and they're uh, not bad fed. I'm longing for a taste of your old buns. He's longing for uh, nicer food. Say, Jimmy, spare a bite of bread. There's a sense that in this place, this um, military hospital there, very, very hungry. There don't seem to be much to say just now. You what? Then don't, you ruddy cow, and give us me back with a cigarette. Um, the soldier seems to be cursing at a nurse. You ruddy cow, you ruddy cow, you bloody cow. Um, so there's sort of not a very nice atmosphere in this hospital. I'll soon be home. You mustn't fret. My feet's improving, as I told you of. We're out in rest now. Never fear. So they're in rest they're, um, in in the hospital. Frack by crumbs, that was near. So there's a kind of bomb that's dropping near the hospital. Um, it feels kind of very close. Mother might spare you half a sov. Mother might spare you half a sovereign if you need money. So there's a sense that we realise that the wife is suffering because she doesn't have any money. Kiss Nell and Bert. When me and you... Hey, what the hell? Stand to, stand to. Jim gives a hand with a pack on the lad. Christ, I'm here. Take hold. I bad. Damn you, I didn't. Jim, here. Um, right, me old girl, Jim. There's a dear. So, um, 
the, the poem ends with the hospital clearly having been hit um, and uh, they've got to move. Get, uh, Jim gives a hand with a pack on, um, you know, help me get out of here, put my bag on me. Christ, I'm hit, take a hold, I bad. Um, he realises that he's been hit very badly. Damn your iodine, that's um, stuff for putting on wounds. Jim here, write me alcohol. Jim, there's a dear. Um, he tells his friend Jim to write home because he realises that he may well be about to die. So we have in this poem using um, rhyming couplets a very powerful uh, account of um, a letter which is not telling the truth in any sort of way. The truth comes out in the dialogue that we hear in the brackets. The truth is that they're in this very dangerous situation and um, that by the end of the poem we realise this person is going to die. Um, it is heavily ironic because we realise that the wife is being told a lie. Okay. Um, notice the, the we've got the contrast between the written form of language, which is full of kind of saying nice things about the war. I'm in the pink. You know, I'm not badly fed. And then the spoken, which is telling the truth about what's going on, um, which he's talking to his comrades about that. Um, the poetic form is interesting, full of rhyming couplets, isn't it? Um, and that gives it a kind of poignancy, doesn't it? A sadness. Um, and you realise how well uh, cl cleverly structured the poem is. Um, and it glues it together as well. and gives it a, a power that it wouldn't have it to, if it didn't rhyme. And it is written using many different voices. So what I'd like you to have a go at doing is um, think about the letter and the reality of the soldier's life and try and match these phrases. He says it's in the pink. Well, what's his health really like? He says he's not bad fed. What does he really eat? He says, never fear. What's really happening at the front in this military hospital? What's the effect of mixing the dialogue with the letter? Why does he mix colloquial dialogue with the formality of the letter? Why does it end so abruptly? So annotate the um, letter in your books and think about, review what you've learned. Um, think about, um, you know, having a creative response as well to the poem.